some of the highlights of the previous round. Let's see. Oh, there you go. That quick right of uh, Jason Francisco. And then Chris always with that one too. That was uh, the shot that hurt uh, Jason. No, there you go. Together with Taro Nishikawa Promotion, we are live in Grand Ballroom Elorde Sports Center, Sukat Paranaque, Philippines. A straight to the body early by uh, Chris Ganoza. The last two fights of Ganoza is um, overseas. I think uh, two. In Japan. Yes, mm. definitely. Oh, but that was a huge right by Francisco. Consecutive straights to the body by Ganosa. That right hand of Francisco targeting the head of uh, Chris. Oh, nice combination by Francisco. Good matchup partner, no? Yes. I think both uh, boxers are uh, set to win this. I think uh, Francisco is the counter puncher on this uh, fight. And um, Ganyosa is the more aggressive uh, fighter. Mm -hmm. So it, if, if you look at that uh, scenario, obviously, may bagsakan to mamaya pag ganyan ang uh, isang counter puncher, isang aggressor. Uh, and Ooh, left to shot. the body by Ganyosa. Shot to the body by Ganosa. Keeps landing on that uh, body. Ganosa is, is not well known as a power puncher, but uh, he could he could uh, break you bit by bit. Uh, Definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, the variety of punches. Right now, he's targeting the body. Let's see what he's going to do in around the two. Again, that combination keeps on uh, coming in, you know, from uh, the southpaw that is uh, Ganoza. Ganoza obviously fought some of the best uh, Filipino fighters. I, I, I remember I did cover uh, Ganoza uh, against Edward Heno. Right, uh, on right, the, right. On, on, I remember that. Um, no? Yes, uh, sa Makati. Makati Square yun. So, Kailan pa yun? Um, <laughs> I think it's mga around 6-7 uh, years ago. Yes, those were the days when Makati Cinema Square was still a venue for boxing partner. No? Here we go, Francisco. Also uh, going to the body with that right hand. Ganyosa keeps on moving in twos. No? One, two combination. Oh, there you have it. A uh, visibly uh, hurt... Uh, Jason Francisco, but he shrugged it off. There you have it. End of round one. What a first round from Chris Granosa. Francisco always uh, also good. Uh, some good shots from uh, Jason Francisco also in that round. Some of the highlights of the previous round. Let's see. Oh, there you go. That quick right of uh, Jason Francisco. And then Chris always with that one too. That was uh, the shot that hurt uh, Jason. No, there you go. I think it was a straight to the body. It will be very obvious that, that, that Ganyosa will try to target the body more on the succeeding round. Uh, knowing that uh, he did uh, hurt uh, Jason Francisco on, uh, on the initial round. Yes, for sure, for sure. Start of round number two. Shout out coach Eligio Saisai. And sabi niya, nice to hear the name of uh, his idol, Rolando Bolhol. Yan ang kambal na kamao with Rolando Navarrete. Of yes. course, we always honor the, the ones who uh, shown before our contemporary boxers. No? I remember, I remember 
in in uh, in my in our uh, in our home uh, back in Cavite City watching Rolando Bohol. Yes. Um, The, the golden age, shall we say, no? But it's always the golden age yes, for uh, us Filipinos, no? Boxing is uh, well and alive here in the Philippines. I also remember uh, in, uh, in my, if my memory ser serves me right, uh, Rolando Bohol uh, fighting Dodi Boy Peñalosa uh, wow. right, right here in the Philippines. That was uh, a fight. Oh, nice combination by ano. Francisco did connect uh, one two smack to the face of a uh, Chris Canyosa Tsaka nung uh, panahon ni Sir Rolando Bohol 15 rounds yon partner right ha? right uh, 15 rounds Oh I don't know we, Yeah we'll we, see we'll see We'll see that's Did you think it was too low? Parang it was on the side lang naman of the ano, no? We but will, yeah, uh, we have to respect our boxers. There you have it, Chris 